This one's going to be really tricky because there's a real estate sign. It's, uh, it's right here. You can see the edge of it. So I want to try to not show you guys that because it's got TMI on it. But look at this beautiful moda. That's like one of those motas where I want to almost keep it, you know? Maybe I will. It's not broken. Here, let's put this in the front seat for now. Jeez, crow. The only problem with selling these motors on eBay is they weigh a ton and they don't fit in a flat rate box. You know, if it fits, it ships, and that does not fit, so it does not ship. So you have to charge like a 30 pound FedEx rate, which is pretty steep for, you know, a $30 motor. Sorry, did I just go a little too deep into the minutia of selling crap on eBay? I'm so sorry. Anyway, it looks like uh, they have a nice trailer that we can't take. But we have succeeded by getting some chain and getting a motor and not showing you these people's details. That's a victory. Welcome to trash picking in A, Richville, and then later we're going to go to slightly less Richville, but you'll never know the difference. It's pretty quiet in Richville, but we have a couple more days of, uh, of picking here before it gets to be the busy day. Anyway, let's see if this pipe is anything we need to be worried about. Ooh, it is. It don't stick to the magnet. That means it might be a copper pipe. It's weird though. Why would it be all like rusty and crusty? Anyway, I'm not gonna question my good luck, my good fortune, finding this giant copper pipe, put it in the pipe bed. Oh boy. The only problem with these giant copper pipes is they only weigh like two pounds, you know? So. It's never quite as exciting as it seems. Do we want some shelves? No. All right, I don't know why those people had a big copper pipe, but I'm sure glad they did. Maybe I'll use this as my thumbnail. I mean, it's a garbage pile, right? Think there's anything in these cabinets? Ooh. 187's in progress. I can't say the next word though. All right, nothing in the cabinets. But we do have a couple of old fashioned floor, floor buffer machines that have a couple of old fashioned electrical cords on them. Should I just be lazy and cut it here, or should I cut it here and pull it through all the little grommets? Ugh. Wow, this is turning into way more work than it's worth. All right. Fire this under, file this under P for plug. I don't like that guy's videos. The, the footage is all shaky. Makes me sick. I should set up one of those like Amazon merch stores and have seasick medicine in it. 
Like, hey guys, now you can watch my videos without barfing. <laughs> What's that stuff called? Benzedrine? Dexedrine? Alright. There's nothing in here, is there? No. Anyway, here comes a fancy Cadillac car. So yeah, I should probably buy a GoPro with like really good image stabilization so we don't get all this like shaking. All right, three, two, one, get ready to vomit. Uh, but I don't like GoPros. Maybe someday though. I just saw another picker at this pile. And he's a guy I've never seen before either. That's always a little unnerving, honestly. But I guess that means that when I started doing this, I was unnerving to the other pickers. Oh, look at this, a whole box full of goodies. Let's take it out into the daylight. Some brass niblets in here. Oh my goodness. That's neat. Can this go in my tool haul video? I found an awl to put in my tool haul. All right, I think I will uh, take the whole box. It's my old pal, my new old pal. Speaking of old pals, here's my old sandals that I bought. I just bought new ones. See? And I'll tell you something. When you're a fat, creepy, bummy, 300 pound dude who doesn't wash his shorts, it's really awkward going in DSW or any other major retailer. We need a magnet. We have a large variety of magnets. All right, what the hell are these things? They appear to be made of aluminum. What do you think they are, though? They got a screw. They don't have any labels on them. Label jars, not people. Anywho, I guess, at the very least, they're made out of aluminum. So I can put them in the car. Oh. See, these are the kind of things, right? where most likely I'm gonna scrap them, but they're obviously part of something. And most likely based on this neighborhood, the something of which they are a part is an expensive something. You know what I'm saying? Like these were part of a $2,000 thing, maybe. You know, like maybe there's a way to, obviously the screw is recessed here. So this screws into something. Maybe a tabletop goes on it. Let's see if there's anything under this 1-800-M-A-T-T-R-E-S. No. All right, anyway, uh, that's enough bloviating. 
anything in this cabinet. It's all taped up. Tape your cabinet. All right, I'll keep my eyes on this pile just to see if anything pops up. Because I don't really want to scrap those if they're valuable. But if I can't even figure out what they are, then what's the point, right? These people had the world's biggest funnel in their garbage a few weeks ago. Let's see if lightning strikes twice. Ooh, that's a padlock. The world's most ordinary padlock. Anyway, aluminum table that we're not going to take. Oh wow, it's a bucket full of ice cubes. That'll come in handy today. It's warm. Oh, wait a minute. It's not ice cubes. All right, so no, uh, no giant funnel, but you can't win them all, right? Where's the rest of the barbecue, lady? What do I care? I never take the rest of it anyway. I think I figured out what this thing is. I think the uh, the two arches go back to back, like they screw together in the middle. So you have one arch like this and one arch like this and then a tabletop goes on top of it. And the reason I think that is because this hole right here is like recessed for the screw, but this one just has threads in it right here. Great filmmaking, by the way. So you put these two together, put the screw through there and bolt it into there. Did anyone care about that? Look, I'm not gonna pull the thing out of the car and show you because, you know, that's a little too much work. Here's our magnet again. What do you think? I think it's a bug flying around my head. Oh yeah. Um, actually, oh no. I thought it was painted brass, but it's like some kind of weird plastic and you can feel that there's steel inside it. I guess that was a premature, oh yeah. Stupid plastic chandelier. I'm parked on a street where I'm not supposed to park. So what else is new? Here's something that's new. Brass, brass. Probably aluminum, maybe copper and brass. I guess those things aren't new. They all look pretty old, actually. But they're new to us. All right, let's see. Do we have any maker's marks? No. Can you see anything in there? No. Is the trunk open? No. Did we find much else today? I don't know, we found that big copper pipe and them two brass candlesticks. And those grates. I'm not sad about that load, are you? Why would you be? This video needs more cord cutting in it. So let's go cut a cord. All right, very exciting. We've unleashed the cord. Feels like a pretty heavy, decent cord. It's a Mike Dyson, so that's good. All right, now we've got a 
do something with the plug. Let's put it right in top here. All right. All right, what a great sequence in the video for everybody to watch. That's us cutting the cord, which rhymes with the word board. Wonder why I would do that. All right, you want a big clock? Oh, Pottery Barn Kids. I think we can live without the clock. What about the desk? Nope. What about this big hand? I mean, it's kind of sad that it's missing the thumb, but I think we'll take it anyway. All right. Like maybe somebody can put a new thumb on there. What else we got here? Some Legos and some more Legos. Oh my God. I kind of wish they kept all the Legos in one bucket. They didn't. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Actually, we'll keep these Nerf guns too. That way, if anyone tries to steal the Legos, we can just shoot them with the Nerf gun. Right. I don't know what the hell that is. Some kid's jock strap, I guess. All right. Is that going to make it through the door? Wait, where was this before? Right here. Ugh, I hate kids' clothes. So creepy. I don't want that. All right, was that, uh, was that anything? Do we care about that clip? Can I just delete that one? I don't know. Look, this is what it is. Look, more Legos. It's like a little Lego something. Be very careful with this box. I think there's more Legos in these sacks. Is that a big sack of Legos? Nope. Nope. This is books. That is such a neat house. I mean, I think it's like a fire station because it got the fire pole. There might be a strip club. But that's like the kind of house you could find in New Paltz. Sorry, that's like a local reference. New Paltz is a lot of weird houses. Anyway, hopefully you don't lose any of the pieces. Like, look at this piece. It's a little bone for the dog. We don't want to lose the dog's bone. And here's like a little guy. Hey, look at me. Who's that supposed to be? Ugh. Is this focusing at all? Focus! Alright. Anyway, we found more Legos. <laughs> I'm calling the video, This is what I did with the last eight hours of my life. You gonna congratulate me now or later? Alright, I think we got enough um, clips. So let's say, giveaway glasses plates. Uh, okay. 
Oh, look at those measuring cups. It's like two different brands. And it's got the spoons with it. I've never cooked anything in my life, but I'm taking those. There's my buddy Al, aluminum pan. Oh. There's another cup. There's another one. Aren't those fun? Those are fun too. All right, I'm not gonna use these people's cookware. Look at the ground instead of the address label. Eh. All right. That's just those things that you use to make sure your stuff doesn't thaw. That feels like Tupperware. All right, so the real reason I got out here is these, obviously. Aren't these adorable? Genuine cast iron goblets. I'm gonna home, go home and drink wine out of them. And you know what? I think we're gonna call it here. Because let's face it, this video is going nowhere. I'm smart enough to quit while I'm ahead. So, let's do our tally. We've got a hand with a broken thumb, some Legos, some more Legos, a box of junk in it, a real cool table base, now that we know how to put it together. Two goblets. And these things, which, like I seriously want to start baking things now that I have these. Oh, we found that. I already talked about that. The new Paltz house. And we got uh, some metal and junk. All right, so not a great load by any stretch of anyone's imagination ever, but certainly, you know, certainly better than a paper cut or stubbing your toe or something. So I appreciate you guys coming along and until next time, thanks for watching.